My name is Anne Crump, and I'm with the law firm of Fletcher Heald and Hildreth. When Sharon Hensley contacted me and asked me to share my thoughts about Scott, I was delighted to do so. I've been aware of Scott for pretty much my entire career in broadcasting law, which now stretches to almost 20, 37 years, odd as that is. All of it at Fletcher Heald and Hildreth. When I started there, comparative hearings were still a thing, and one of the colorful characters about whom I heard tales over sometimes long and somewhat liquid lunches was Scott Johnson. Scott was friendly with a number of the more senior members of the firm at that time, including Vince Curtis, and he would tell tales of the ins and outs of past hearings in which both hearings in which both he and Scotty, as he called him, had participated. Along the way, I also met Scott. I really got to know him, though, when he joined Fletcher Heal about 20 years ago. After I admired the lovely furniture and art he had added to his office, a great upgrade, I soon had the opportunity to work with him on a number of projects and quickly came to appreciate his tremendous legal skills. Not only did he have expansive knowledge of past cases and precedent, but he is also great at plotting strategy and running compelling arguments. I thoroughly enjoyed helping Scott with pleading battles, during which he would be looking a couple of steps ahead to figure out how he would reply to the other party's response to us. I also quickly learned that Scott has an uncanny knowledge of where all the bodies are buried and figuring out when there are bodies, especially in Alabama. Scott is always a great colleague. He enjoyed talking with others about what they were working on and offering his ideas about any issues. He spent time teaching new young associates the skills and tricks of the trade. Listening to Scott's stories about past events and adventures was highly entertaining, regardless of whether they related to things legal or things personal. Speaking of things personal, Scott was always considerate of colleagues at the firm, regardless of their position. Shortly after he joined us, I had been telecommuting a couple of days a week before telecommuting commuting was cool in order to care for my then infant daughter. I was very anxious to make this arrangement work and Scott watched me lugging large piles of documents back and forth. One day he told me that he'd spied an enormous old litigation briefcase, the kind that had been used to take documents to hearings in past days and I should take it and use it. I did and my life instantly became much easier. It is this sort of kind and gentlemanly behavior that characterizes Scott. I greatly miss seeing him regularly and I'm honored to be part of this tribute.